Hi, I'm Kevin, the Hobby Guy, here with Model Railway TV, here again with George Hobner. Welcome back, George. Welcome. I'm glad to be back. Great. Boy, this whole basement is full of train layout. So now we're looking here at your HO train layout. Right. And can you tell us a little bit more about this layout? Well, uh, when I first started model railroading, I did join a, uh, a club, an HO, and they had a train layout that was probably about this long, but it went from there, back to there, back there. So you could run a train forwards, but to get down to the other end, you had to back it up. Oh, you couldn't loop it? No loops. Uh, they were very much into operations, mm -hmm. which means they could pick up a boxcar here, leave it over there, pick one there, and bring it down this end. So I decided to, to build something that they could use eventually. Sure. So this is still in the process. Right now, trains go back and forth. There are about uh, a total of 42 different turnouts or switches. To actually operate this would take four people. Oh. It would take it one person on each control panel. Okay. Plus, each person will have a, their own throttle. They could control their own train. And I'm noticing this is DCC. Right. Digital Command Control. Right. Oh, and I hear the trains going here. There we go. That one has sound as well. Sure, sound. It doesn't have smoke. Unfortunately, I, I couldn't afford that. I'm retired. Ah, uh, well. You know, and it, it also looks like this thing is uh, uh, completely remote control. Right. Okay. Uh, you can plug it into it. There's a, a little spot on the front. They actually plug it in. But I use batteries and radio control. So people can actually walk around. And as you notice, if you look at the track real closely, there's some white numbers. Sure, I see I see that. It looks like on every switch. Right. Because you can't possibly turn something over there if you're back in here. Right. That's why it takes four people. Okay. Somebody here can walk a train around, say, okay, turn number 14. The person down there turns number 14. Ah. Uh, so I these, noticed they're all color-coded. You have a, a red line. That mean, must mean the main line. Main line is uh, usually red and brown. There's some side lines that are blue or white. Okay. Uh, it's mainly for operations, and I don't do operations. Okay. I can barely work this. I got it to start for you today, but that's really about all. Well, you know, you're doing great here so far, so, George. So I, can I, you tell me a little bit more about the buildings then? Uh, I like to build things. Most of these buildings are plastic. Uh, they're fairly easy to build. Uh, in fact, I think they're easier than wood. And you, you can put some things on them, uh, color code the roofs a little bit, put tar paper on the roof. Sure. Uh, you notice, though, that there's no people here and, and no no buildings, that are, no uh, uh, scenery. And that's because I call this my plywood planes. Because when you're talking about operations, I can move this building down there, move a building from there down to here. So, so you can change your loading facility. Right. Or you can, you can use the operations of this train. Right. So if a person gets to know these operations and gets familiar with them, we can change them and he has to start all over again learning a new sure. way to do it. And then you aren't uh, as apt to do the scenery because you have other projects that do the scenery ends. Yeah, I've got about another two and a half modules to work on that uh, okay. you can see later on, hopefully. All right. So that's it for the HO layout. That sounds great. Well, thank you once again, George, for being here with us today. And we'll see you again here on Model Railway TV.